Afternoon YouTube. Hope everyone's okay. Uh, right then, it's been a couple of weeks since I've had a, a death threat um, of any significance. Anyway, we had one off uh, Danny Knightley. Uh, I don't know how he's getting on with his fucking information search. And, uh, he ain't hit me up yet anyway, spawn this little cunt. Uh, so yeah, a couple of weeks since my last death threat. Uh, it's easily explainable why, I mean, Andy hasn't got his uh, mental health hitman to, uh, to issue death threats and whatnot. <clears throat> I mean, he's struggling at the minute. Andrew to come up with any contents because he's he's been deprived as of nutters as he gathers them. Uh, Kaylee, on the other hand, <laughs> uh, fuck me, she's been all around the world. She's been to uh, interviewing a South African woman about the rights and wrongs of uh, South African life and whatnot. Uh, I don't know what to say to you, missus. You're two-faced, man. You're back with Noah, wanting to fucking hang all the white cunts in New Zealand and get them out of the country. But then, you know, when the Africans want their bit of shit back, it, it's fucking play-up time, isn't it? Eh? You, you cunts would have been out there fucking on horseback behind Eugene Tedder Blanche. You know, fuck all about history, Kayla. You know, fuck all about anything. You fucking dumpling. Uh, right, Kayla. The other day, you wasted a whole day driving down to fix Carol Wood's car without a spanner. Oh, I'll take that back with Eric the Spanner. I've never seen anybody try and MOT a fucking motor by kicking the tyres and opening the bonnet. It's been sitting there for fucking months, love. It's going to be vandalised. You've put a car outside my house, it'll be vandalised in three fucking weeks. Guaranteed. Fucking half wit. This, the car that Callow Woods reckoned the government have attacked all to hire up uh, her no claims or to affect her no claims bonus so that she won't be able to ride around the country exposing all kinds of shite from her fucking mental mind that's what's happening the car's been vandalised by some fucking yabos she reckons the government have done it but anyway then Eric the Spanner and Kaylee drove to the hospital to see Carol Woods. Now, I don't know who the fuck you think you are, Kayleigh. I really don't. You've endangered this fucking woman. Now, apparently, the, the, somebody con concerned with this child that you lot are trying to claim was murdered uh, for something to do with Carol Woods. They're on about running the place over going there and steaming the place and uh, doing all sorts of stuff. Uh, I don't blame her because, uh, you know, you're fucking talking about their dead fucking relative, you bastard. So, you know, they should be steaming your fucking house. I learned about the nut house. Cheeky bastard. And Tom, uh, I believe your son's in prison. I've got a message to all you people. Eric, Tom, Diane... These people won't help you. These people can't help you. These people have come to you for help. To get them more hits on YouTube. These people can't help you. Let's have a little look where some of these people's friends and their help have led to. You know what I mean? Some of the helpers. Like John Patterson. Dead in prison. Fingers crossed. Uh, Neil Berry lost everything she ever had. She'll probably end up doing a, a little stretch and all. You know what I mean? Kayleigh, fucking pointless. Never had a job, never going to get one. 
Uh, and Andrea Devon, as mad as a fucking bug brush on acid, is a fucking retard. He'll suck any old shit up off anyone. So for all you people looking for help, if you want help, I don't know where to send you for any of your issues, but I know where not to fucking send you. And that's to these people. They're no better. No better than the worst people on YouTube, such as uh, Angela Power Disney. And uh, as was Sabine McNeil when she was around. They're no better. And more people will end up in prison or in nut houses. Look what they've done to John Manoa. They nearly killed the man living off fucking fish heads in a car park in New Zealand using the facilities of a local swimming pool. There was no need for the guy to be fucking harmless, living like a fucking retard in the back of a car. There was no need for it whatsoever. These people forced him into it. From what I saw anyway. And everybody who reported it, and everybody who reports all that you do, Andrew Devine and Kaylee, and all of your sycophantic fucking paedophilic pals, anybody that reports you and everything you do to the authorities deserves on the pat on the back because you're probably saving somebody from arrest, prison and probably worse, you know what I mean? So, again, the main ad advice here, shout out to everybody on God's earth, if you believe in a God, but on planet earth anyway, if you don't, keep away from these mongrels, man. The only interaction you've got to have with these people is to fucking thumb them down or slate them. Never helped anyone. Never helped anyone. And hopefully, one day, Oakstead ever will make an appearance and we'll get her view on it. Hey, Andrew. Let's see what Oakstead ever and your fucking son have got to... Because uh, all I've done, Andrew, is disagree with you. Exactly the same as your fucking missus. So why am I the enemy? Why am I the fucking baby-eating Satanist and not ever? Yeah, you've had a kick in the bollocks anyway and you're struggling now. You've had a lot of views because nobody's uploading any content about you because you're toxic. The old bill are into you, everybody's into you, all sorts of authorities, all sorts of authorities, broken promises, broken dreams and failures is all these people have got to offer, whereas me on the other hand, I've got the mighty boosh, all the best. <laughs>